John Campanero, ladies and gentlemen. John Campanero, give him a nice hand. I watch a lot of sports. My wife can't handle it. She's like, I don't get you. You go to the game, then you come home, you watch the highlights on SportsCenter of the game you just went to. And the next day you read about it in three different papers on the internet. What are you, slow? Are you a simpleton? Is there a test on this shit? They lost. 14 to seven, not coming back. Because you don't know what it's like to cheer for a team since you've been seven. You've never been affiliated with a team. You grew up in Iowa. What, you cheer for corn? Come on, corn, grow. Hope we have a good harvest this year. She's like, what's the best that could happen, John, if they win it all? You get to say, my team's better than your team. My city's better than your city. I'm associated with a winner and you're not. Yes! <laughs> you call me slow, it took you 15 years to figure it out. You are like the biggest sports guy I know. I mean, you, you were like the, every fan you see in the uh, bleachers. Well, you know, when you're married and you got three kids and you don't get out a lot, you gotta, you? Have, you gotta have something. Yeah, you gotta have something, man. It yeah, makes you your life worth living. Are there any uh, sportscasters now that really stand out? Al Michaels? You know, Vince Scully like? makes me laugh because he, yeah. he does the dodging. He thinks he can read lips on the field. Yeah. He thinks he knows what they're saying. Wait a minute, he's in the umpire's <laughs> face. It appears he wants to take the ump to Fuddruckers after the game. <laughs> Um says he doesn't like Fuddruckers. Go to Fuddruckers yourself. <laughs> Try the ground Chuck you. The um says Chuck you too. <laughs> Is that why the coaches on the sidelines, when they're talking to the headsets, are always like this? Yeah. They don't want people reading their lips, right? Oh, of course, yeah. Well, I mean, when they're given the play, yeah, football. Yeah. Who's going to be reading their lips? Are you kidding me? What do you think, the guy from New England? The deaf player? Belichick got fined a million dollars because he was stealing signs. What do you mean? I, what do you mean stealing signs? They they would steal the signs of going into play. They the other the defense knew every time where they were going to run, if they're going to right or left. Wow. And it's. Right. I didn't know baseball was like that. No. <laughs> but seriously, John, John, you know you're in your fifties now, right? Fifty what? <laughs> Aren't you, like, aren't you noticing that some of your friends are dying? Because I've noticed that. I'm, I'm 57. And, and um, people are dropping like flies. And I'm thinking, why not me? I went home for my mom's funeral back in August, right? So I, I see a lot oh, of homeboys so that I haven't seen in years, right? Yeah. Come to the funeral parlor. They're my age. Guys that graduated. Dead. They look like they're dying. Yeah. Half of them look like they're dying. I know. it. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, well, you know. South Side Chicago, they grew up hard, hard lives. Half of them are alcoholics. Yeah. I didn't mean to bring the crowd down, but <laughs> that's just the reality of it all. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm looking good, f*** them! Doc Cavanaro, ladies and gentlemen, Doc Cavanaro.